Hi, my name is Deborah L. Welty. I am a certified teacher of decorative art at Jubilee Junction Art Studio. My website is koalityart.com. It is really fun to embellish your summer wardrobe or anything else with dragonfly, so I thought I would show you a quick, fun way to do it. You need a soft white nylon brush, DecoArt So Soft Fabric Acrylics, in your choice of colors, and a dragonfly. You can t use somebody else's pattern or draw your own, and I show how to put a pattern on fabric in another video. Or you can draw this one on with a pencil. You pick a color for the body, which is just really a rounded end with a long, narrow part. You can make it as fat or as skinny as you want, as much detail as you want. I've seen all types of dragonflies, so pretty much your imagination is the guide. I painted mine with dark rose and with dark rose in my brush I tipped it into the dark burgundy and I'm going to put a little bit of shading and with there already being some dark rose in my brush it helps it to blend as I paint along the one edge here. Just gives it a little more special touch if I just add that little bit of shading down the one edge. Since the paint is wet, you can get even a little more aggressive than that if you want to with getting that extra color in. The paint is really fun and easy to work with. You need to apply it heavy enough to cover the weave of the fabric. I'm switching to a bigger brush and I'm going to use the DecoArt Fine Glitters to paint my wings in. Can you see all that sparkle? I just think that dragonflies have that imaginary magical quality and they just need to be painted with glitter. I've got two other dragonflies that you can see here on my shirt and the one up above here the wings have been painted with glimmer which is a clear glitter and then I shaded them or tinted them if you will with other colors that I had out here that helps tie my design together. I'm mostly using pink and turquoise because those are colors my mom really likes and this is for her. When I'm using these fine glitters, can you see I'm really scooping the paint up heavy and I'm totally saturating my fabric here. And just look at all that wonderful fine glitter that I'm going to have sparkling on this dragonfly. It does take quite a few scoops and you have to pay attention that you don't drip. If you do, just paint another dragonfly. The wings are a lot like a question mark on the one side and then just connect it down on the other if you're going to try to draw your own. I suggest you study some dragonflies before you get started. Okay, then I'm going to grab a little bit of the purple that I have used up here and I'm going to put a little bit of shading and paint it right into the fine glitters. While it's wet here, I can get it to blend right on in. This will help it go with the other dragonflies on my painting, but it also adds a little bit more pizzazz to it. The colors of purple and lime green and turquoise just seem like good dragonfly colors. And then I like to give him a flight path. I use um, Easy Float, which helps to thin my paint a little bit in a liner brush. It keeps it from bleeding. If you use water, sometimes it can run. And I just thin it down a little bit, and I just make broken lines in whatever direction I want the flight path to go. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little lesson on painting dragonflies. And you can find lots of different dragonflies at my website as I use them to accent a lot of things. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.